You could be my someone, you could be my seeds. This is the man, the myth, the legend, Wes Scantlin. Now, something happened recently, and I don't know exactly what happened, but he's he's had some silly shenanigans over the years. Uh, if you don't know the, who Wes Scantlin is, he's the Puddle of Mud Man. He's the singer. And he's, and he's, oh, he's swinging the kid. On, this, it's, he's a good dad. Why are they always giving him grief? I didn't know he was going to be swinging his kid on the monkey bars and stuff and swinging, swinging his child. Look at that smile. It, it, it tells you everything you need to know. But Wes Scantlin, I guess he's done another one here in 2021, so I thought we would look into it. But here's another one of his hits. Jesus, I haven't even actually watched that. I I've, I heard about it, but I didn't see the is the the, the, it's the Nirvana cover, right? About a girl. Jesus, it looked like he lost some spit there. Yeah, it's a big puddle right there. Big big puddle of spit, not puddle of mud, but puddle of spit. Yeah, he caught it with the tongue. It's coming. Get it with the tongue. Boop. Get it with the tongue. Here's another one. What's this? This, I think this is, he stole my house. Very excited to be on stage. Are you the dude there? Are you the dude? Like the dude abides? Like the movie? That's Jeff Bridges? This guy's laying down some flange. Like a drunken, you know, like the background to a drunken nightmare, right? Are you the dude that looked at me the other day in the eyeball and said, Oh, Jesus. Wes, I... Look at this guy. He's just playing like, This shit's going to hell in a handbasket. I'm just going to play some drunken flange on the guitar. When Wes says, Stop, you son of a bitch, you stop. In your own home. Does he does he go after him? I mean, I'd I'd love to see that. Or does he just go? Does he just go on and on about how could you do that? Uh, I mean, maybe maybe he's just a lazy lazy. You know, some people just get lazy. Here's another oh, one. <laughs> oh, his band, his band quits on him. And the problem with that is Wes Scantlin's a singer and he's probably the owner of the name Puddle of Mud. So he hires just any old people for as cheap as he can get them to play. And they, they go, I'm not getting paid enough to put up with your shit, bro. Fuck you. Fuck you, this sounds like they're in uh, Scotland or something. Fuck you. Fuck you. Wait a minute. You got one guy saying, fuck you, and this lady's giving hearts. Look at that. She's doing finger hearts to him. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you, Wes! Is that not a surprise? Fuck you! Fuck you, Wes! Fuck you, Wes! Jesus, that guy really wants to get his attention, doesn't he? Fuck you, Wes! Okay, bro. He's obviously heard you. He's not going to. I mean, sometimes when you're drunk, you're just, you're kind of spacey mind, you know. So give it a couple more times to him. Fuck you, Wes. Fuck you. 
I mean, why does someone go to a show? I mean, unless it's he's a huge fan and he's pissed off because this is going on at the concert, something in that voice tells me that he's probably never been a fan of Puddle of Mud. He's just there to scream at him. Oh, you're a disgrace. Well, perhaps he's not just a, he's got a, he's got a problem, perhaps, but a disgrace, maybe that's a little, little tough on him, right? You're a disgrace? What does disgrace mean? That means just like you're despicable? It's like the guy, the guy has a drinking problem. <laughs> I mean, at least remember old Abath, the black metal singer? At least he got out there and cried and bawled and hugged everyone and said he was sorry. It's the most unblack metal thing you could ever do. But if you haven't seen that drunken video, look up Abath, E A B B A T H, black metal singer. And you'll see plenty of shenanigans from him where he was, he was drunk, but he's, I mean, he still get that, gets out there and tries to play. It just sounds like crap. This guy just kind of breaking down inside or something. But this was 2016, and now we got a fresh one here. And I don't know what happened with this. All I know is that uh, what I, from what I read, he he's he's talking about how the the lights hurt his eyes or something. Yeah, he's got his. If you can't tell, he's got his hand up because the light is too bright. You know, when you're on um, Broadway, what do you sing when you're on Broadway? The lights on bright on Broadway. That's an honor to have that light blaring right into your eyeballs. You know, then you don't have to look at all those people out there in the audience. If you're if you're a nervous person on stage or something like that, you don't have to even look at them. You just get that light right in your face. It looks like a big black silhouette in front of you, and you go, to be or not to be? That is the question. He don't like it, though. Is this a hit song? Because it's not good. That guitar player he had in 2016, he sure as hell ain't there now. He's like, I'm out. I mean, my God, he must really get, lay it on, right? When he gets to going, he just, he's not a couple of beers guy get loosened up. He's kind of a couple of, uh, maybe a half a bottle or something. I wonder what his, uh, his choice is. I wonder what his flavors are. Is he a whiskey man? Does he drink a lot of whiskey and then go out there? I mean, if he's getting this... I think he'd be a bigger, fatter guy, kind of like me, if he was if he drank more beer. He's probably a whiskey guy. My God, is it gonna start anytime soon? He's gonna say stop. Man, I'd be pissed as hell if I was at this concert paying money. But then if I was this person, I'd be going, oh, God, I'm going to film every last minute of this. He's oh, oh, in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I love this guy, too, because he's got to still rock. He's still got to pretend like, yeah, that's why do you rock out on stage? Think about that. Have you ever thought about that for one minute? Why do you rock out on stage if you're in a band? Because you want to pump the crowd. So when this guy's going, all night long, baby, all night long, I'm wasting. And he's got his hands covering his face, so you can't take any good Instagrams of him. You got to have a guy like this over here shaking his booty and rocking out going, it's okay, man, we're going to do this. You guys should be doing what I'm doing and rocking out. Put your panties on the floor. This is the best night of that security guy's life. He doesn't. No one's coming over a rail. No one's even bothering that front front line. Now 
Wes, when are you going to stop and tell him when to stop and complain? The video here says walks off stage. Jesus. I'm hearing a lot of people saying stuff like you suck. The lights have to be blinding me for this whole show. Hell, now I can see all of you people. But if you guys were standing up here where I'm at right now, it's like it's like a fucking like a fucking flashlight blinking in your fucking head. Like a like a police officer pulling you over, Wes? Is it something like that? They love to do that. Believe you me. They stick that light right in your face because then it shows your pupils dilating. Uh, and if you don't go, hey, Aaron, get that fucking thing out of my face, bro. What are you doing? Then they arrest you because they go, well, you know, anyone else would have said, told me to get that light out of your face. You didn't do it. So you're going to jail. And they do this too. Four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. You got to tap the thumb and the finger for a number four and you got to go up and down four three two one one two three four four three two one one two three four and you can't go four three two one four three two one you can't do that you got to go four three two one one two three four then you got to also stand on one foot and have the other one extended slightly out six inches in front of you with your arms to your side so if you teeter or tip which is hard to do even when you get into my age it's hard to do that, but that's what they do. Just some tips for you if you ever get into a situation like that. Wes knows he's been there. Cool. Really? Deep thought, man. Sounds like a fucking motherfucking idiot to me. Who? Fuck you, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. And then look, out of nowhere, here's another fucking douchebag fuck. Jesus. Oh, so someone smacked him in the eyes with a laser or something like that? This guy's trying to get the song started and he's... Oh. He got a new tattoo of two black guys. What's the deal with that? Is that what he's I got a new tattoo of two black guys. Sweet yeah. Yeah. I got a new tattoo of two black guys. So did he, is this, is he going to go through this whole song or is he going to get angry again? Angry again. This guy has the most patience in the world. I'm telling you that right now. The people that are playing in a band with him, they know it's a powder keg and they just go for it, right? The guy's probably a wonderfully sweet dude when he's not having, having issues, but you know, you know, back in my day, you had a couple beers to warm up because you were so excited to get out on stage. And this, to me, in every clip that I've seen of this guy, is a guy that doesn't, he realizes that's a money revenue that he needs to do, but he ain't a fan about doing, uh, uh, about doing these concerts, you know, because he is literally phoning it in. And whose who's fault is that? I mean, there should be an exclaimer on there going, look, if you buy one of these tickets, you're t tough. Sh if he shows up, that's one thing. If he doesn't show up, it's another. There goes my phone. Let's see if it'll drown it out. Got a little tattoo, a little black skies. Look at this crowd up here too. Not a hand, not a not a clap, not a nothing. Yeah. Okay, what's he doing now? Unplug my guitar and go away.
Man bun. Man bun alert. We got a man bun over here on the base. This guy is strictly doing it for the pay. And he's writing a tell-all book. So he grabbed his whiskey because you know it was, a, oh, it's, a, look, I'm just drinking water. No, it's vodka. And he grabbed that and he just kind of left. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Bye. Let's go. Okay, we're almost done with this. Let's get another taste of this. So that's all the same dudes that's on that stage. Now that guy's gone. Or maybe it is the same guy. Maybe he's just gotten a little bit older and a little bit more haggard. Because if you hang out with this guy long enough, you'll get pretty, you'll look older. You'll, you'll, it'll add 10 years to you. But that is all the guys. Let's see. Yeah. He's just going, my God. My God, what have I done with my career? What have I done? Where am I going to get that big job? u two's not going to call. Elton John's not going to call. This guy saying... I mean, the, yeah, the offers are gone. Um, what say you get in the comments below and tell me what you think of uh, West Scanlon, Scantlin, and uh, what do you think of Puddle of Mud and all that stuff? I mean... You know, it is what it is. The guy probably, uh, I think he was sober for a little while, but then he, you know, he falls off of it, you know, and uh, that's what happens. I mean, hell, even Vince Neal, he doesn't seem to be getting any better after, you know, he gets so much ridicule online, you think that the guy would get serious about things, but he just gets right back out there and says, nope, to hell with it, I'm going to drive this. And the thing is, too, is if you were going to go to a West Scantlin gig, a puddle of mud gig, you could, you could totally go, you probably pack more people in if you're like, this is a fucking circus sideshow. If you buy a ticket to this, God knows what's going to happen. You're going to sell them out. Sell it out. Let's just see what happens. Let's just, I, you know, I'd be willing to go see that. If it's like, hey, come and see Puddle of Mud, and you're like, oh, I got to listen to, you know, two albums worth of this. No, I'd pay the money to see a, a total meltdown on stage. That's worth it to me. Uh, what say you get in those comments and tell me what you think of that, okay? Mm.